Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to check all the checkbox fields on a page using Selenium. Let me answer. In Selenium web driver, we have a command known as find elements, which can locate multiple elements on the page. That is multiple checkbox fields, for example, in this case. Okay, to this find elements, we have to pass an XPath expression, which can locate all the checkbox fields on the page. How to create such kind of XPath expression, which can locate all the checkbox fields on the page. Since all the checkbox fields will have the tag name as input, and there will be one attribute known as type attribute in the checkbox fields, whose value will be checkbox. Okay, like this, by using this tag name and this attribute and its value, type attribute and its uh, value as checkbox, we can identify all the checkbox fields on the page. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have already written some Selenium automation code for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing that browser window. And here we need to open the application URL using the get command, but I have not provided any URL here. So I'll take you to one sample application URL where multiple checkbox fields are available. So application URL is omaya.blogspot.com. Copy that URL and paste it here. On this application URL, you see a lot of checkbox fields will be there. Okay, orange, blue, these are the checkbox fields. You are selected, you see orange is in selected state, whereas blue is not in selected state. Here pen, book, uh, uh, use pen, book, laptop, bag, these are also the checkbox fields, okay? So these are few checkbox fields on the page. To locate all the checkbox fields, few of the checkbox fields are in selected state. For example, book is in selected state and orange is in uh, selected state. For this, we have to write some customized code. Why? Because we have to make sure all the checkbox files, uh, all the checkbox fields on the page are selected. Okay. How to check all that? If they are already checked, we should not touch them. If they are not checked, we have to select them. Okay. That's the logic we have to write. How to get that logic done? First of all, let's locate all the checkbox fields on the page. So for that, I'll inspect one of the checkbox fields. Any checkbox field you take and right click. And you will see that it will have an input tag and type as checkbox. So I'll use this input tag and type is equal to checkbox as the things to create the XPath expression. Control F, double slash input, at the rate type is equal to checkbox, P-H-E-C-K, B-O-X, like this, okay? It will locate all the checkbox fields on the page. This particular XPath expression is locating all the checkbox fields on the page, okay? So if I go to the selector sub, you can see it properly. The same XPath expression I'll copy and press enter, you'll see the checkbox fields getting selected. You see, these are highlighted. Only the checkbox fields got highlighted here, okay? So copy such kind of XPath expression and come back here and write down driver dot find elements. Elements you have to take because it's locating multiple checkbox fields, all the checkbox fields on the page. Give that XPath expression, which is locating all the checkbox fields. Put a semicolon here, I'll say check, box fields is equal to this find elements will return you list of web elements okay create local variable once you get that you create a per loop for each loop otherwise each and every checkbox field here in this list is a web element copy this web element and write down here uh checkbox checkbox field colon otherwise checkbox field colon check box fields okay this list you are writing here for each and every checkbox field in the checkbox fields i trade this loop and now you have to check one thing if this particular checkbox field is already selected or not is selected if it is selected it will return true if it is not selected i have to select it right so i'll simply write a not operator here so if this is returning true means not of true means false and it will not touch in touch that checkbox field okay but if the checkbox field is not in selected state, it will return false. False of not will become true and will go here and select the checkbox field. That's the logic. Now say checkbox field dot click. This is the logic, simple logic we have to write. And at the end, that's it. Let's run the code and see whether all the checkbox fields on the page are getting selected or not with this logic. I run the script. If they are not selected, then the checkbox fields will be selected with this logic. So observe that all the checkbox fields on the page will get selected now if they are not selected. Okay, you see orange, blue, everything is selected. Pen, book, laptop, bag, everything is selected now, right? So all the checkbox fields on the page got selected. So hope guys you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.